All right, hopefully this comes out on video. There is a glare from where I'm sitting, but judging by the camera, it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Uh, I just want to share with you guys um, an update on this radio that I got for the GMC uh, Sierra. Um, I've been very happy with it. Um, no, it does something weird. Anyways, um, the only thing I don't like about it is there isn't an actual volume knob. There is times where you just like to you know, grab the volume really quick and turn it down or turn it up or whatever. Um, and you have to use your, you know, your touch panel to, uh, to raise and lower the volume. Uh, one thing that I do like to do it quickly, uh, say, say you had it blasted up here, you can see, you can use the touch screen too. So you could just hit one of the buttons and then grab it and shut it down really quick. Um, but what, uh, the purpose of this video was, is, uh, the stock launcher, now, this is basically just an Android tablet. I'm assuming that you know what a launcher is at this point. Uh, I, I don't like it for, the, for a couple of reasons. Uh, I, you know, the design of it wasn't too bad, but it had huge buttons. Um, there was, I think, three large, almost full, you know, a third of the screen buttons, and then a couple of smaller ones on, on two different pages. For whatever reason, I've tried over and over again. I've even went into the you know the settings and entered in the code to get all of the uh, advanced settings and everything. Trying to rearrange, delete, or or add those buttons to you know how I wanted it set up, and I wasn't able to do it. I don't think there is a way to do it. Uh, so your other options are to get aftermarket launchers. They have all kinds of car tuned type of launchers. <clears throat> that are designed, you know, to have like a nice fancy clock screen. And, you know, they look really nice. And um, I think Car Launcher is one. Um, there's an Android one. Uh, Android, well, they're all Android ones. There's an Android Auto style one. I forgot what it's called. But anyways, I have used those in the past, and those work uh, pretty well. The only problem and the only reason I didn't use it here, and I'll explain how I got this set up in a minute, is... Um, it didn't allow you to use the factory installed apps, uh, factory installed apps being um, their CarPlay, which isn't actual. Well, it is CarPlay, but they don't label it as CarPlay, I'm sure, for licensing reasons, whatever it is, because um, Apple will sue them. Um, the stock radio app, as well as the equalizer app, and I believe that's it. Uh, so, and those are important. Those are the main three things that I use. Uh, you know, if you, you turn on your, your, your car, which it's on now, and you see, I just put the, the GMC logo in the background. Uh, you could pick whatever logo you want or none, or just a black screen or whatever, but I, I arranged it like this. Um, and I set up the icons. Uh, what this is, is Nova launcher, which if you know anything about Android, I'm sure you've heard of it before. It's a very popular launcher. Um, but it does allow you to use the factory apps kind of a wor in a workaround way. These are actually widgets, um, not actual app icons. Uh, I, the Play Store, I believe, is, uh, but you, you can't tell the difference because I use the same icons for them. So, um, for instance, so I'll just show you, like, this is the factory radio app. I'll hit it. Let's turn that down all right so here's your factory radio app which my radio doesn't come in very well at all so it's only going to get a couple stations <clears throat> so that's fine then you can you know hit home to go back um, you've got your uh, Bluetooth app which if you want to connect your phone in a different manner than CarPlay or any other Bluetooth device or if you have a passenger in the car that wants to play their music uh, so that's important to have on here for me. Uh, Play Store, if you want to go ahead and, and, you know, add any other apps and have them on the home screen or in your app drawer, which I also have an app drawer here. Um, OBD2, which is just the Torque app. I just renamed it to OBD2, uh, you know, which gives you your uh, codes and, you know, data that you might want in your car. And then, again, here's your app drawer, which has all the other type of uh, apps that you might want. Uh, this Nova Icon Pack, I actually want to uninstall. It was one of the Icon Packs that I tried using to get this. Uh, what I actually used is this Chrome Icon Pack right here. I don't know if I can... Uh, I don't know if I can click on it to see what it is. Yeah, okay, so Chrome Theme. Chrome Theme is the name of it. Uh, Apex Nova Go Holo, Holo, Holo ADW Themer. 
basically just a generic icon pack. Uh, the reason I chose it is it kind of has that chrome trim ring around each of the uh, the apps themselves. Hopefully it's showing up on the camera, um, which is kind of nice because you know, the rest of the truck has this chrome accent. I have this as my uh, my phone holder, magnetic phone, phone holder slash charger uh, that also has that chrome trim ring. There's the chrome accents here. So it kind of blends with the truck and looks kind of factory, which is why I kind of would have preferred maybe a round one. Um, there probably is one out there, but after 15 minutes of searching, this is the best that I could come up with. So I'm going to go with this. Uh, you know, not that the square is horrible. It's got rounded corners. But I think if maybe just some round buttons for the apps might have been a little better to match, you know, all the other round things in the truck, the gauges around. So, uh, you know, these are basically all I need on my home screen. The only things that I really use, if I need to get into any other app, I can just go in the app drawer and access it from here. So, uh, so again, you got the Bluetooth uh, Play Store, OBD2, which is the Torque app. I just renamed it, app drawer. Uh, radio, uh, CarPlay, which is obviously very important. That's what I use most of the time. I get in the truck and I just plug my phone in, which I'll do right now to show you. Um, so this screen isn't even really going to be shown that often anyways, but it is nice that that's the, the go-to basic screen if you don't have your phone plugged in. So I just plugged into the uh, CarPlay here on my phone and it says device detected and it automatically pu uh, pulls up CarPlay. You don't actually have to push the button. But you do need the app because if you come out of it to change an equalizer setting or something along those lines, um, then you need the app icon to be able to go back to it. it. Took a little extended time there. I just updated my phone, so it probably took a little longer. But there's your uh, your typical um, CarPlay, which does work fine and all of that stuff. So, all right. So and and then again, you can just hit home. Um, so if I was playing music right now, this is where I'd go and then I'd click on the equalizer and then I could go ahead and adjust any of my sound settings that I would want to have right here while the music's playing through the car, car play. So that's why I have that equalizer. And then, of course, this is settings, your basic settings for the uh, the sound system itself. Um, you know, the same settings menu that's in the stock one. So I unplug that and uh, so, you know, that's basically it is I just want to show the way that I set this up. If any of you bought this radio or use another uh, Android radio in a truck like this or any other vehicle for that matter, this would be the same process and how you would do it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how I was able to pick these stock apps to be able to show up. Because if you just go in your app drawer, it doesn't show, for instance, the radio. It doesn't show the Apple CarPlay. Um, I forget what they call it, AirPlay or something. They call it some other name. Um, it's it's not an option in here. It's not You can't take it and, and put it on your home screen. Um, so the workaround is this. You go ahead and, and well, go ahead and hold your home screen. And what you do is uh, you get your wallpaper, your settings, uh, and you add, you go to widgets, okay? And then you've got Nova Action, uh, shortcut to an activity, shortcut to an app or folder. This is what you typically add an app to your home screen, but it won't show if you click on this. Oh, we got to hold this and say I want to put it right there. All it's going to show you are these apps to choose from, and there's not many. That's it. You know, the Torque app, I'm able to add that way. The Play Store, I am settings, uh, you know, maps, but it doesn't have the radio, the equalizer, and the CarPlay. So what we do is we do a shortcut to an activity, hold this down, put it on your home screen, and now it comes up with an option of all of these things. Now there's a little number here, hopefully you can see it. This, there's six different items in this Android keyboard. These are all pop-down menus. And if you scroll down to this com TS main UI eight and click on that. There's 40 different items in here and you scroll in here and this is where you'll see a lot of the factory installed apps that came with the radio that don't show up in your typical app launcher. Um, now this car radio isn't the one that works for whatever reason. It doesn't. Um, there's probably some other ones that do work in here, but uh, I scroll down, scroll down, um, this is the DSP, which you would think is the equalizer. That does not work. I'll show you how I got the equalizer up in a second. 
scroll down, scroll down. You know, some of these do work. Some of them don't. Here's radio, just radio, not car radio is the actual one. So I could take and click on that. And now, boom, it puts it up right there with the stock app, which isn't the uh, icon that I changed. OK, but now when you click on that, it goes, it brings up the radio. So that's the only way, the only workaround to do it. And what you can do is you can hold down on this and you can edit the icon and you can call it whatever you want, stereo radio, whatever. And you can click on the icon and this is where you can select from different icons that you have installed. And, you know, you can get some more on the Play Store or whatever. But uh, this is the Chrome theme one that I have. So then I can click on that. And here's all the Chrome themed apps, app icons that you can choose from. So I just selected what I thought was the appropriate one, which that is the one that I used for the radio right there. Okay. And then you've got, uh, you've got those apps on your home screen. So I'm just going to delete this right now. And I'm going to show you how I got... Wait for that to clear. Okay. I'm going to show you how I got the equalizer working. Um, That's how I got CarPlay. It's in that list. So again, widgets, activities, you got to hold it, put it on your home screen, and then select. Scroll down. This is 2212.25 and Chrome. You know, these are all different like activities. Act, actions or activities, I guess, that you could you can select. So here it is, ComTS Main UI 8. Let me scroll down and... I believe this ComTS Main UI 8 right here that says... Oh, no, that's not the one. Hold on. Find it in a second. Scroll down, because this took me a while to, to find, so I want to save you guys the time. GPS, launcher, logo, media storage. Phone link, that's the one that they call CarPlay. Okay, you can see the, uh, the emblem right there that looks like the CarPlay. So you can click on that. And then it just, there's one item under that menu, which is phone link. So if you add that now, if I selected that and I just renamed it to CarPlay and I selected whatever icon I wanted, that gets you to your CarPlay. Um, <clears throat> and so let me go back, start from the beginning. And I will show you where I got the equalizer was in... Um, TS main UI 8. It was in here. Most positive auxiliary in. No. I believe that's it. Set up. Let me try that. There it is. Okay. So you can see how that can be confusing. And so now I can just go ahead and edit, change this to equalizer or whatever you want to call it, edit the icon. Uh, so yeah, that works out fine. So again, if you want your equalizer, now you've got other ways, like you could, if you didn't want to do it in there, there's a couple other, re if you don't want to have your equalizer on your main screen, which I do, um, if you're in radio, there's actually an equalizer button down here that goes to that. Okay. So that's one option, but I use CarPlay mostly. So I don't want to switch to the source radio and then adjust the equalizer. I want to be streaming my CarPlay music and then come back to the home screen and adjust the sound with my equalizer. You can also do it from here your settings here and then car infotainment and then sound which brings it up here okay but that's a lot of steps and also like I said I have the the same settings app right here which would do the same thing so that's two buttons as opposed to one 
Um, but I like just, you know, you're driving, you don't want to have to think, you don't want to have to have extra steps. You want it simple. If you're driving down the road, you're listening to something and all of a sudden the bass is too powerful and it's distorting your speakers. You want to be able to hit one button. Well, it's actually still two buttons. So it would be, you know, three or more if you do it any other way to be able to change your setting right here. Okay. So that's the way I did it again. Let me just go through it. Hold on your home screen, add a widget hold the activity widget in our lists right here scroll down to this com.ts.main ui8 which has 40 items in it and then we're going to scroll down now you would think like this dsp with the equalizer symbol would be it like i have many a times that is not it keep scrolling down to set up with the little Android guy. So it's com.ts.set.sound setting or setting sound activity. In case you have a different Android radio, it might be a little different. I don't know. Uh, this also has, you know, your tire presser monitor system. That's actually something that I do want to add to the home screen. I'm curious if that works. So let me add that right now. Okay, now I don't know if I have to drive the car to update that or not, or if it even works at all. Let's go for a little spin. Let's find out. There's your uh, backup camera. As you can see, your lines turn depending on where you turn the steering wheel, which pretty sure there's a way to turn that off but uh, I haven't got to that yet so yeah unfortunately it looks like the tire pressure monitoring system app does not work with a 2009 GMC Sierra 2500 HD you know it's got the factory system anyways in the dashboard not a big deal it kind of would have been nice if this did work just to be able to see the actual it appears to show the temperature and the pressure in each tire which the factory system does not I believe with the code scanner I can access that information but uh, that would have been nice just to kind of know what I have in each tire because um, I guess technically you can set limits on low and high not as if people have a, a world of tires blowing up but So hopefully this helps somebody out. If you hate the stock launcher and the way it's set up, um, I think that's a really nice setup, pretty simple. I don't want any clutter on here, anything more than I actually need when you're driving. All right guys, thanks for watching.